Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Knit Crow Addict Channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet an easy shawl wrap. I have free written pattern is available on our blog at knitcrowaddict.com and if you prefer the PDF pinnable version is available for purchase on our Etsy, Ravelry and Lovecraft. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. For this crochet wrap project, I used this beautiful yarn from Natural Hand Dye Yarn on SC. This is a fingering weight yarn, 75% superwatch merino and 25% polyamine. In each skin, it has 437 yards. I used three skins for this project and I have just a little bit left, okay? This is a gorgeous fall colors. I love it so much. If you want to substitute yarn, just look for fingering weight yarn. And I use four millimeter crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle. I'll make sure to put the link to this shop in the description below if you want to use the same color that I use. And they also have a beautiful different colors as well. Be sure to check them out. For this pattern, it's in a multiple of 6 plus 3 chains. So you're gonna make a group of 6 chains, 6 chains, 6 chains, 6 chains. And at the end, you're gonna add 3 more chains, okay? So I'm gonna make 153 chains. First, I make slip knot, insert the hook into that loop. Then I'm gonna make 153 chains. 1, 2, three, four, five. Now I have 153 chains. Row one, we're gonna make one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So I skip the first chain, insert the hook into the second chain. And I like to insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. Then I yarn over hook, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That is my first single crochet. And then make one single crochet into the next chain. Again, I insert into the little bump on the back of the chain and then make my single crochet. And then chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip four chains. One, two, three, four. And then make one single crochet into each of next two chains. So single crochet here and then single crochet into the next. Then we can now repeat this across, we chain four. Skip four chains, one, two, three, four. And then make one single crochet into each of next two chains. Single crochet into the next and then repeat chain four. Skip four chains. One, two, three, four. And then single crochet into the next chain. And then single crochet into the next chain. Okay, keep repeating this across. You're gonna chain four, skip four chain, and then one single crochet into each of next two chains. Repeating that across. And here's what it looks like at the end of row one. And I have a total of 25 chain four spaces. Row two, chain three. Count as one double crochet. Then we're gonna make lace iris stitch into each chain four space across. So for the lace iris stitch is you're gonna make two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet, all into the same space, okay? So I yarn over hook, insert the hook into that chain four space, yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two loops, yarn over pull through two loops. That is the first double crochet. Then make another double crochet and then chain two and then make two more double crochet into the same space. So all that count as one 
lace iris stitch then we're gonna repeat into the next space make lace eyelid stitch into that space so we start with two double crochet then we chain two then two more double crochet into the same space and then repeat make lace iris stitch into the next space we start with two double crochet then chain two and then two more double crochet into the same space here's what it looks like so far you're gonna keep repeating this you're gonna make one lace iris stitch into each chain four space across then i will be back and show you how to finish row two okay after i make the last lace iris stitch into the last chain four space here's what it looks like next we're gonna finish the row with one double crochet into the last stitch the last single crochet stitch right here so i yarn over hook insert the hook into the last single crochet stitch then make the last double crochet there now row three we chain five The first three chains count as one double crochet and the two chains there count as chain two space and then turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter then we're gonna make two single crochet into the chain two space right at the middle of the lace iris stitch right here make two single crochet there chain four Two single crochet into the next chain two space right at the middle of the lace iris stitch and we're gonna repeat this across we chain four two single crochet into the next chain two space repeat chain four two single crochet into the next chain two space Keep repeating this across and I will show you how to finish row 3. This is the last chain 2 space. I'm going to make 2 single crochet in there. Then we're going to end the row with chain 2. And then make 1 double crochet into the third chain, the turning chain right here here's what it look like at the end of row 3 row 4 chain 4 the first three chains always count as one double crochet and the fourth chain there count as one chain space and then turn then we're gonna make two double crochet into this chain 2 space And then we're gonna make one lace iris stitch into each chain four space across. So this chain four space make lace iris stitch. We start with two double crochet, then we chain two, and then we make two more double crochet into the same space. And then repeat into the next chain four space. repeat into the next space keep making one lace iris stitch into each chain four space across and i will show you how to end row four okay i made the last lace iris stitch into the last chain four space Here's what it looks like. And now we're going to make two double crochet into the last space right here. Remember, at the beginning of row three, we chain five, right? And the first three chain, we count as one double crochet. And the two chain there count as chain two space. 
So into that chain space, we're gonna make two double crochet. And then chain one. And then make one double crochet into the third chain, right here. So make the last double crochet there. Here's what it looks like at the end of row four. Now, row five, we chain one and turn. The chain one doesn't count at a stitch. Then we're gonna make one single crochet into the first stitch. And then one single crochet into the chain one space. And then we're gonna chain four. And make two single crochet into the chain two space right at the middle of the lace iris stitch. Okay, then we're gonna repeat this across. We chain four. Two single crochet into the next chain two space. Repeat, chain four. Two single crochet into the next chain two space. Keep repeating this across and I will show you how to end row five. Okay, after I make two single crochet into the last chain two space, and then we're gonna end the row with chain four. Then make one single crochet into this last space. Remember at the beginning of row four, we chain four, right? The first three chain count as one double crochet, and the fourth chain there count as one chain space. So into that chain space, we're gonna make one single crochet. And then we're gonna make one single crochet into the third chain. Here's what it looks like at the end of row five. For this pattern, it's just four rows repeat, which is row two, to row five and from now on you are just gonna repeat row two to five over and over so I gonna repeat row two to row five 39 more times and I will have a total of 161 rows if you want a shorter wrap make less repeats and if you want a longer wrap make more repeat just repeat row two to five I gonna show you one more repeat which is row six to row nine. For row six, we're gonna repeat row two. We chain three, count as one double crochet, then turn. Then we're gonna make one lace iris stitch into each chain four space across. So we start with two double crochet. And then we chain two, two more double crochet into the same space. Repeat into the next space. Okay, keep making one lace iris stitch into each chain four space across. Then I will show you how to end row six. After I make the last lace iris stitch into the last chain four space. I can now end the row with one double crochet into the last stitch, the last single crochet stitch. Right here. Row seven, we're gonna repeat row three, we chain five. The first three chain count as one double crochet and then the two chain there count as chain two space, then we turn and then we're gonna make two single crochet into the chain two space. Then we chain four, two single crochet into the next chain two space. Repeat, chain four, two single crochet into the next chain two space. Keep repeating this across and I will show you how to end row seven. After I make the last 
to single crochet into the last chain 2 space I gonna end the row with chain 2 then one double crochet into the third chain the turning chain for row 8 we're gonna repeat row 4 we chain 4 the first three chain count as one double crochet and the fourth chain there count as one chain space then we turn and then make two double crochet into the chain two space and then we're gonna make one lace iris stitch into each chain four space across repeat into the next space make exactly the same as row 4 okay keep making one lace iris stitch into each chain 4 space across and I will show you how to end row 8 after I make the last lace iris stitch into the last chain 4 space here's what it look like and then we're gonna make two double crochet into the last space and then chain one and then make one double crochet into the third chain for row nine we're gonna repeat row five so we chain one doesn't count at this stitch then turn and then make one single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into the chain one space chain four two single crochet into the chain two space and we're gonna repeat we chain four two single crochet into the next chain 2 space repeat chain 4 2 single crochet into the next chain 2 space all right keep repeating this across and I will show you how to end row 9 next we're gonna chain 4 and then make one single crochet into the last space and then make one single crochet into the third chain okay here's what it looks like at the end of row 9 it's very beautiful pattern okay from now on you just gonna keep repeat the same pattern row 2 to 5 2 to 5 2 to 5 okay I gonna repeat row 2 to row 5 38 more times and I will have a total of 161 rows start count from row 1 good luck and take your time I'm at the end of row 161 next I gonna cut the yarn leave a little bit of tail just enough to weaving the end later then I pull my yarn out and I'm done with my beautiful crochet wrap and I gonna weave the end later, this one, and then at the beginning. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you make this beautiful crochet wrap, I would love to see it. If you wanna share your work with me, just tag me on Facebook or Instagram at Addict. I gonna put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye bye.